Warning, graphic pest control video ahead. Do not watch if you might be offended. If, however, you really like watching pest control videos, then hello again and welcome to the Squirrel Hunter channel. Please continue and watch us as we control pest populations with silenced air rifles here in the UK. If you have any questions, can you please check the description below first to see if it's already been answered and for some useful links. Thank you. Let's breath on the trigger of his Daystate Mark IV in 177 calibre. And he's launching Barracuda Hunter Extremes. And he's up on Squirrel Hill. If you can't recognise the feeder. If you watch enough of our videos, you'll notice. This is the first victim in the wind. Breath sat in his car. And the shot's good. There's various rifles a bit. And there's quite like the calibre gun cricket from the car as well. But the day state's an excellent rifle also. This one's come running up onto the feeder. He lines up. Takes a shot. 177 pellets. Doing just the same job. As a 0.22 wood. Accuracy always trumps power with these type of air rifles. Sub 12 foot pound. I was about to say UK legal limit. It's a legal limit in England. Scotland now require you to have licenses. I can't remember who does what anymore, so I'm just going to say England instead of the UK from now on. Wherever you are, Look up the relevant laws of your land. Bruce's gone for a bit of a zoom in. Sat up a nice feeding pattern. Brev always favours the front feeding position. Sometimes they'll turn a quarter towards you, a bit like that. Produces a very, very good kill shot. Nice and humane. Not kicking on the ground. It's a nervous reaction. You see the link in the description to Ted's video explaining what's going on. It's not alive at all. It's just spinal neurons firing. Now the brain's got no control over them. That's how I understand it to be anyway. It's going to be quite a short video today. There's plenty of kill shots in it. You don't tend to see the squirrels approach like you do on the other feeders. They sort of appear on the feeder here. Come in the bushes. This is why it's difficult to free hunt them in this area. It's better to bait them into the open so you can do this. When they tilt their head, it's perfect for a good headshot. Brev's got a homemade camera mount on his car window. Or has he bought one? I can't remember now. It doesn't seem to matter with the shooting though. I think he sits in his back seat on the passenger side. Put a cushion on the window, shoot out of it. Does tend to put a cut the screens up. The squirrels don't seem to mind the car. They don't ever get educated. Virtually never know what hit them. Literally, in fact. Once one settles, some some nerved it. Bruv took the shot anyway. Went still, presented a good shot of the head. It's one of them reaction things. Don't think too hard about it. You know when you see the shot when to take it after all these years of experience in shooting. Most of the time we're correct. One's on the ground. Wind's blowing fairish still. And this is going to be the one that messes him around the most. You can see the design of Brub's feeder, fairly traditional. The feed area at the front tends to produce a side on or a quarter in headshot. Most of the feeders I build these days have the side shelf. Not that it matters for this one. Messed around too much for Brev's liking. With a side shot you tend to 
outside shelf even, you tend to get a straight on headshot or a quarter in one more often. That's a perfect shot if it was going to stay still. You can clearly see Brev isn't going to rush the shot. He's not entirely confident this squirrel's in a feeding pattern. There we go, see? Fidgeted around. As soon as it came to rest, Brev took it then. It's hard to explain sometimes. I'm just going to feed him for it. Over the years, when to take the shot. Not entirely sure if I'm looking at the pass through rose tinted glasses, but I'm sure they used to sit on the feeder a lot more confidently and a lot more still. But hey ho, you to go with what you're given. Look at it. Is that on the chew on that feeder? Let's get some armour in on that, bruv. And that's pretty much the rodent all over for you. A predisposition to chew anything you can get their hands on, or little paws on even. They haven't got hands, I'm sure someone will tell me. Get in people's roofs, chew the wire in, do all sorts of damage. This one needs to calm down. Oh dear, another squirrel comes into focus. Where are they gone now? Is that target just at the bottom of the screen there? It's a black dot with two yellow dots on it. That's what Brev uses to check his rifle. At the beginning of every session, I urge everyone to go shooting, or even who go shooting, to check their rifle just prior to it. Don't just rely on it from the day before. If you want to get results like that, preparation and patience is what's required. It's not accidental, it's all contrived. And whilst you get one that messes about a lot, the other ones just come charging in to have a free feed. It is free, isn't it? It's probably been feeding here for weeks. But not anymore. The more they visit the feeder, I think it attracts more anyway. It's my personal opinion. I've got no evidence for that. Lots of scent. Other squirrels see them there. They come to investigate what's so interesting. This is the last squirrel of the day of this session. It's only a short video. Next video is me. I the squirrel hill is quite a bit longer than this one. A bit heavier on the footage. You can't fault Brev for knocking them down. The owner was pretty pleased as well. I do believe that's a double figure bag. There they all are. Big pile on the floor. Nicely done there, Brev. Dozen squirrels is always good. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.